This patient here is a 75-year-old female and she has been symptomatic for almost four months. She's been uh, diagnosed and treated with some of our private ENT doctors um, and she has been diagnosed with posterior BPPV on actually on both sides and she has uh, had treatments with the Epley maneuver uh, on both sides but uh, despite of treatments, um, she, she is still uh, symptomatic. Please observe instantaneous right beating horizontal positional nystagmus that persists throughout the Dix Hall pipe position. Initially, one might get the impression that there is also positional rotational nystagmus, but that's not the case. Please also note that the patient is symptomatic in this position. No reversal of nystagmus was observed, but it is not shown in the video. Following a very short period of latency, upbeating and rotational crescendo decrescendo positional nystagmus is observed. After 20 to 25 seconds in the right Dix Hall Pike position, this type of positional nystagmus is no longer present, but now a left beating horizontal positional nystagmus is observed throughout the remainder of the right Dix Hall Pike test. The patient also indicated that she was symptomatic in this position. The patient is placed in the supine position. In this position, a combined upbeat and horizontal positional nystagmus is observed. The horizontal positional nystagmus is right beating and the patient indicates that she is symptomatic. The nystagmus is present during the entire period of being positioned in the supine position. The patient is placed in the left supine roll test position. In this test position, right beating horizontal positional nystagmus, also termed apogeotropic nystagmus, is observed. The positional nystagmus is present instantaneously and throughout the left supine roll test position. Please also note that the patient indicated that she is symptomatic in that position. The patient is placed in the right supine roll test position. In this test position, left beating horizontal positional nystagmus, also termed apogeotropic nystagmus, is observed. The positional nystagmus is present instantaneously and throughout the right supine roll test position. Please also note that the velocity of the positional nystagmus is higher on this side compared to the left side. The patient indicated that she is very symptomatic in this position. This patient uh, was quite interesting because she actually turned out to have uh, affection of the horizontal canals and she was uh, today diagnosed with um, left-sided uh, horizontal cupular lithiasis as her major problem 
but I also believe that she has uh, right-sided posterior BPPV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to treat horizontal cupular lithiasis on the left side. Instead of positioning the patient in the left dix Hallpike position, I rotate the patient an additional 45 degrees in the yaw plane towards the non-affected side. Before I initiate the treatment, I also make sure to position the handle on the back of the rotational arm of the TIV chair in the position that facilitates impulse treatment in the horizontal plane. I apply 10 impulses or shocks in every position. The patient is rotated 45 degrees in the yaw plane towards the non-affected side following each session where impulses are applied. The patient is rotated 5 times 45 degrees, being equivalent to a total of 225 degrees towards the non-affected side. The last position should be kept for approximately 30 to 60 seconds before placing the patient upright again. The number of kinetic impulses may vary between clinics. Please note that this type of BPPV may also be treated with the dynamic barbecue maneuver in the TRV chair. When you do this repositional maneuver, fast rotations of the patients are applied in the plane of the lateral semicircular canals, including 10 accelerations and decelerations. Uh, I decided to treat on the left side today because that was where she was uh, most symptomatic, but uh, I'll see her for at least one follow-up and uh, at this follow-up I will uh, hopefully she's going to be treated well for the horizontal uh, BPPV uh, and if that's the case I will focus on the posterior uh, BPPV on the right side for uh, the follow-up visit.